Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, I will talk about how to configure uh, a different view for the patient. So like, uh, you know, as you can see that um, here I have a list of patients uh, with patient name, business profile, which is great. Now, if you remember in one of the episodes, I, I spoke about how to configure a session uh, based on the custom object I'll create, right? So I'm going to use that option uh, to uh, display. Uh, say, for instance, I wanted to display information about uh, Charles Green um, you know, session, for instance, right? Um, so can I do that here? Um, yeah, you can do that. So let's see how to do that. So if I go here, you I mean, this must be pretty simple, but it's a little bit different though. So this is what you get here. Now, I'm seeing all these options here, account, session, contact, HR. Hmm. But I can't see a session object. But if you remember, the session object has a lookup to account. But I do want a session object to appear here. Right? Now, how to do that? Okay. So to do that, what I'll do, I'll go something, uh, I'll go under this tic-tac-toe icon. And I go to cross object relationship. And now it's new. I will say session account. Yeah, from account. Now, what's the name of an object? Okay, so I think it's session. So I'm actually linking an account to a session. So and I've done that. Now I'll refresh it. It's going to take its own time. Um, right. Now I'll go here. This is Tai. Sorry, the Gekong icon. Now if I look for session, you see? You found the session here. So that's how you bring the information here by using a cross object relationship, right? So you must be wondering, you might have got a requirement. Hey, I wanted to bring certain information here and make, create a simple list. Though it sounds like a very simple list, you might think, oh, it's so easy, right? I've created a list in Salesforce. So this is a little bit interesting though. So that's the reason why I wanted to, I wanted to talk about it because had it been the case for a very simple simple list, right? I wouldn't be talking about it because obviously I expect if you're in a health cloud training, you would know how to at least configure a simple list. So, but this is not a simple list though. So I'm on a session here, okay? Now it's all right, what I'm looking for. So I wanted to see for, oh, come on, I would say type. I wanted to look for all uh, the session type uh, equals to say spinal injury okay and I wanted to look for account so account name and I want to look for appointment uh, okay duration and minutes and also appointment date, right? And the name. So I would say, yeah. Oh, my. Uh, patient sessions, right? You can name whatever you want. Okay? So you only see for the child screen, okay? <clears throat> so uh, invalidated time. Don't worry about it uh, for now. So let me go to a uh, session object, right? And, <clears throat> and I will add something for, say, new patient, whatever, right? I will say 90 minutes, back pain, uh, date, I don't care about it for now, type, I would say spinal injury, uh, account, let's say David John, right? Doesn't matter. Now, if I go to the the patient, right? You can see the list here, right? Uh, and you can also see the appointment date and time. 
and also see the duration here as well, right? So this is how you can configure your uh, patient list, right? It's more user friendly. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's, it's. I mean, I really like this feature. I've used it many times, um, you know, in my health cloud uh, journey working for a customer, right? I show them how to configure it. It's beautiful, right? And they loved it. This, this simple, those seem super simple. It is tricky, right? Because it will say, all right, I wanted to bring this option there, that option there. How to do that? You just use a cross-object relationship. That's the power of cross-object relation, right? So that's pretty much I wanted to cover in this episode. I hope you guys have an amazing um, Tuesday. Adios.